Not really. A lot has happened since my last upload, and a lot of you guys have been asking for an update video. Some of you guys have been asking, hey, did you die? Well, let me tell you what's been going on. I know I said I was going to upload every week, but life happened. A whole lot of it. Welcome to my new home. Well, not really, but this is where all my stuff is for now. Let's begin. So shortly after I posted the last video on this channel, I took a trip to New York. I'm in New York! Now I pretty much go to New York every year for two reasons. One is to catch a Yankees game with my family. The other I'll tell you guys in a bit, but first, here's some footage from the game. Pops. Introducing my pops. Now he's the main reason why we keep coming back to Yankee Stadium. Uh, he said that it was on his bucket list that he would go see a Yankees game with his two sons. So for the last five years, every time we go to New York, we go catch a Yankees game. He's also a diehard Yankee fan who grew up in the Bronx across the street from Yankee Stadium. So him and the Yankees have some history. You ever been to the old Yankee Stadium? All the time. I used to go right across the street. All the time, chopping. They used to let me in for free after the, I was there when the Yankees stunk. 1964, 65, 66. They stunk. They used to let me in for free. They were begging for me. And now? Look at them now. Look at them now. You can't even get the Monument Park. You can't even get it to Monument Park. $100 a seat. Crazy. What happened? Where's that guy that used to let you in for free? Yeah, where is, where is he? <laughs> to the second reason why I went to New York, and that is stickball. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. Yes, you heard me right, stickball. Now, I was gonna tell you guys all about the game, but on the way back from New York, I lost all my footage. Luckily, my buddy Lamb, he brought his camera and vlogged the whole trip. He posted a video to his channel, you guys should go head over there, check it out, link down below. Give Lamb Chops a sub, comment on the video, Nod Squad, and let her know what's up. Now when I got back from New York, I continued to fix up Mikasa, as you guys saw me painting in the Everyday Carry video, and I put my house up for sale. Which by the way, if you guys need a real estate agent, my mom's a real estate agent, and she sold my house within four hours of listing it. It's not that kind of video. But anyways, if you guys are looking to sell your house and you live in the South Florida area, hit me up. My mom's will hook you up. She's good. She's good. All right, let's get back to the video. Now, I'm not gonna lie. After selling the house and moving out, it was a little bittersweet. I mean, this is the house that my son was born in. These are the floors where he took his first steps. The rooms where we played together. A lot of good memories in this house. But it was time for a change. Our family was growing and we were ready for a new home. So we had to say peace out. From then on out, life was full speed ahead. 
from baby showers to the arrival of our new baby girl. Guys, say hello to me. Welcome. We had some early fireworks last night. He's a 4th of July baby. Happy 4th of July from the family. Life was just full of huge milestones and some of the happiest moments in my life to date. Doing good, bud. You're a natural, man. Now, as I continue getting my house ready to get back in gear, moving my stuff from storage into the new house, I want to leave you guys with this. I'm still very much alive. Life is good, and I'll be back soon. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you.